In St. Osa's Point Clear Road, two men have died after crashing into a tree. Two men have died following a serious crash in St. Osa's. Police were called to Point Clear Road at about quarter past six a.m. today, Sunday the 8th of August, to report that a BMW had been in a collision with a tree. The road was completely shut in both directions and police of Corodon was put in place as investigations got underway. At around 9.30 a police helicopter could be circling above the scene of the crash and both ambulance and fire crews were present on the scene early in the morning. It's bear in mind to think first, think safety, maybe possibly sleep deprivation or driving on infants, alcohol, narcotics, leaving a lot of loved ones and people distraught back home. Police have now confirmed that two men in their 30s, one from Benfleet and the other one from East London, have died as a quote, uh, result in a crash. Um, inquiries are ongoing to establish the circumstances leading up, up to the collision, which people believe have may have occurred at around 1.30 this morning. Possibly sleep deprivation. I'm not saying they're under influence of alcohol, not alcohol narcotic before anyone jumps at conclusion. The remote road remains closed as officers work to recover the car and police believe the road will be open with eight hour. She said, I drove up to go to the shops at quarter past seven this morning from Point Clear Bay and the road was closed just before five stacks are care home. My heart's pour out for the families. I'm always reporting these tragic incidents. Such a shame. I spoke to the officer in charge who explained that due to serious crash the road would be closed for a number of hours. He mentioned that they may be able to open up Cow Lane, a private road, to enable us to get in and out. Professor Johnson, Inside Politics Today. Animal distribution for farming produce. People don't take on board our work to improve far farm animal welfare. More than 900 million farm animals reared every year in the UK, as well as millions of fish. The law alone is not always strong or detailed enough to ensure that they will have a good quality of life and are transported and slaughtered. Humanly, public transport also to avoid tragic deaths is the safest route to destination. The UK rail, rail network includes more than 2,500 stations and more than 40,000 bridges and tunnels every year. There are more than 1.3 billion passenger journeys including 270 million business trips, buses in the UK alone. A total there are around 32,000 buses in the service in the UK. Stagecoach is one of the biggest UK buses operators running 8,500 buses and employing around 25,000 people across the country. Around 3 million people travel on our buses every day. Other major operators including Arivia, National Express, Go Ahead and First plan a safe route to your destination. It's proclamation news and gatherance. Be safe, not sorry. Also, let's place a stop to sporadic knife crime, checking our youth of today's school pockets and bags before heading off to school. If they are getting bullied, tuition them into martial arts or boxing school. Many youth like contending, uh, contending games. Just remember, you cannot win them all. Teach your children it's okay to lose. Furthermore, take them into a consideration and a safe mannerism. Take them away from that um, school if they keep getting bullied. Your forbearance and safety for your children is the utmost respected upon. Be an adult who acts now before it's too late. We are trying to offer more youth clubs for children to protect them into self, into, into civilization. But we need to act <coughs> and bring them up into a safe environment. Members of the UK providing local and regional infrastructure report working with over 200,000 youth club, clubs across England offering local on the ground support where it's needed most. Like Sunday schools such as church and many, many youth things to do. The root of billion interact and act upon now before it's too late. Behaviour by an individual group or repeated over time that intensely hurts in 
another individual or group, either physically or emotionally. It's not only physical for your child, but mentally torment, which can lead to a self-death experience. Repetitive and persistent. Intensely harmful. Involving an ambulance of power, balance of power, causing feels of distress, fear, loneliness or lack of competence. What duties does a school have to safeguard children? Section 175 Education Act 202, this section place a legal duty on span, legal duty on maintained schools. Maintained school is owned and funded by local authority and maintained school follows a national curriculum and can be subcategorized as either a community, community foundation and trust, voluntary aid or voluntary controlled school. It's important that you pick the right school and keep a direction of your kids, how they're maintaining themselves. Authorised to safeguard and promote the welfare of children, Section 175 requires two types of arrangements for use. To take all responsible measures to ensure the risk of harm to children's welfare are minimised. To take all appropriate actions to address concerns about the welfare of a child or children, working agreed to local policies and procedures in full partnership with other local agencies. And then we're going into section 89 on education inspections at Act 2006. Head teachers of maintained schools and academies, and academies must determine measures with a view to encouraging good behaviour and respect for others and part of the pupils and in particular preventing all forms of bullying amongst pupils. The measures determined by a head teacher must be publicised in the form of written document anti-bullying policy. Children Act 1989. A bullying incident should be addressed as a child protection act. The actions and measures taken to protect the child from abuse or ill treatment. If necessary, take them out of school and try and keep them home tuition until they can find a dis placement. It's important, very very important for your child protection concern. There is a reasonable cause to suspect a child is suffering or is likely to suffer significant harm. In this case the school should staff should report concerns to their local authority. Big big concern. Overall administrative body of your job geographic area. Very, very important that he takes on board Authority Children's Social Care, the Education Independent School Standards Regulation 2014. Academics and independent schools are required to ensure the arrangements are made to safeguard and promote the welfare of pupils at the school. The uh, proprietary must ensure that bullying at schools is prevented in so far as reasonably practical by drawing up an implementation of effective anti-bullying policy preventing and tackling bullying. Department, uh, departmental advice, preventation. Uh, How can we prevent it? The advice states that the school's response to bullying should not start at the point at which a child has been bullied. It notes that the best schools develop an approach to bully bullying in which school staff proactively gather information about issues of pupils which might provoke conflict and develop strategies to prevent bullying occurring in the first place. This might involve taking pupils about issues of difference, perhaps in lessons through dedicated events or projects or through assemblies staff themselves will be able to determine what will work best for their pupils depending on the particular issues they need to address. It's important that they you speak to your child, maybe their friends get bullied to um, own up and a answer the questions you're t speaking to about. Sit at the table, speak to your children, find out the information, address it, you know, write it down and take it into headmaster, see if they can do anything about it. If not, you need to legalise your consent of um, information to legal authorities. Also, call in to proclamation news and gatherance, social media, more over social media network. I will stand in court, I will stand in legal authorities, I'll do what it takes. Um, anything necessary I'll do to fight your case. 
um, please get to me on Proclamation News and Gavins. Um, we are a legalised force to be recognised and our speech.